Welcome to Summary Secrets, your daily personal growth companion. In today's video, we'll be uncovering the top lessons from Atomic Habits by James Clear. If you're ready to unlock the secrets within this book and gain valuable insights, let's dive right in. Lesson 1. The power of small habits. Small habits, when repeated consistently, can lead to significant changes over time. The first lesson from Atomic Habits is about the power of small habits. It's easy to think that big changes require big actions, but the truth is that small habits can have a huge impact over time. By consistently repeating small actions, you can create significant changes in your life. For example, let's say you want to improve your physical health. Instead of trying to overhaul your entire diet and exercise routine overnight, you could start by making small changes. Maybe you commit to drinking a glass of water every morning when you wake up, or doing 10 minutes of stretching before bed each night. These small habits may not seem like much, but over time they can add up to big improvements in your overall health and well-being. The key to making small habits work for you is consistency. It's not enough to do something once or twice and expect to see results. You need to make these small actions a regular part of your routine. This can be challenging at first, but over time it will become easier and more automatic. Another important aspect of small habits is that they are sustainable. When you try to make big changes all at once, it's easy to get overwhelmed and give up. But when you focus on small habits, you can build momentum and create lasting change. So if you want to make positive changes in your life, start by focusing on small habits. Identify one or two actions that you can do consistently and commit to doing them every day. Over time, you'll be amazed at the progress you can make. Lesson 2. The importance of identity. Habits are not just actions, but they are also a reflection of our identity. To change our habits, we need to change our identity. This lesson is all about understanding the connection between our habits and our identity. When we think about habits, we often focus on the actions themselves, what we do and when we do it. But habits are more than just actions. They are a reflection of who we are and what we believe about ourselves. Think about it this way. If you have a habit of going to the gym every morning, that habit is not just about the act of going to the gym. It's also about the identity you have created for yourself as someone who values fitness and health. On the other hand, if you have a habit of eating junk food every night, that habit is not just about the act of eating junk food. It's also about the identity you have created for yourself as someone who doesn't prioritize their health. So, if you want to change your habits, you need to start by changing your identity. You need to start seeing yourself as the type of person who does the things you want to do. For example, if you want to start meditating every day, you need to start seeing yourself as someone who meditates. You need to believe that meditation is a part of who you are and that it's something you do every day. One way to do this is to start small. Instead of trying to change everything at once, focus on one small habit that you want to create. For example, if you want to start reading more, start by reading for just 10 minutes every day. Over time, as you start to see yourself as someone who reads every day, you can gradually increase the amount of time you spend reading. Remember, your habits are a reflection of your identity. If you want to change your habits, you need to start by changing the way you see yourself. By embracing a new identity, you can create the habits that will help you achieve your goals. Lesson 3. The Four Laws of Behavior Change Claire outlines four laws of behavior change that can help us create and maintain new habits, make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy, and make it satisfying. Creating and maintaining new habits can be challenging. But there are four laws of behavior change that can help you achieve your goals. The first law is to make it obvious. This means that you need to make your new habit visible and easy to remember. For example, if you want to start drinking more water, you can place a water bottle on your desk or carry one with you wherever you go. The second law is to make it attractive. You need to find a way to make your new habit appealing and enjoyable. For instance, if you want to start exercising, you can choose an activity that you enjoy, such as dancing or hiking. This will make it easier for you to stick to your new habit. The third law is to make it easy. 
you need to make your new habit as simple and effortless as possible. For example, if you want to start reading more books, you can keep a book on your nightstand and read a few pages before going to bed. This will make it easier for you to incorporate reading into your daily routine. The fourth law is to make it satisfying. You need to find a way to reward yourself for sticking to your new habit. For instance, if you want to start eating healthier, you can treat yourself to a healthy snack or meal after a week of sticking to your new diet. By following these four laws of behavior change, you can create and maintain new habits that will help you achieve your goals. Remember to make your new habit obvious, attractive, easy, and satisfying, and you will be on your way to success. Lesson 4. The Role of Environment Our environment plays a significant role in shaping our habits. By changing our environment, we can make it easier to adopt new habits and break old ones. The environment around us has a powerful impact on our habits. It can either support or hinder our efforts to adopt new habits or break old ones. For example, if you want to start exercising regularly, but your environment is not conducive to it, such as having no gym nearby or no workout equipment at home, it will be much harder to establish the habit. On the other hand, if you have a gym membership or a home gym set up, it will be much easier to make exercise a regular part of your routine. Similarly, if you want to break a bad habit, such as smoking, but you are constantly surrounded by smokers or have easy access to cigarettes, it will be much harder to quit. However, if you change your environment by avoiding places where people smoke or removing all cigarettes from your home, it will be much easier to break the habit. By changing your environment, you can make it easier to adopt new habits and break old ones. For example, if you want to eat healthier, you can stock your kitchen with healthy foods and remove all junk food. If you want to read more, you can keep books in a visible place and remove distractions like TV or social media. By making small changes to your environment, you can create a supportive atmosphere that encourages positive habits and discourages negative ones. In conclusion, the environment plays a significant role in shaping our habits. By changing our environment, we can make it easier to adopt new habits and break old ones. So, take a look at your surroundings and see how you can make small changes to support your goals. Lesson 5. The power of habit stacking. Habit stacking involves linking a new habit to an existing one, making it easier to adopt and maintain. Habit stacking is a powerful technique that can help you adopt new habits and make them stick. The idea is to link a new habit to an existing one, so that you can perform both habits together. This makes it easier to remember to do the new habit, and it also helps to reinforce the new habit by associating it with an existing one. For example, if you want to start meditating every morning, you could link this new habit to an existing one, such as brushing your teeth. You could decide that after you brush your teeth, you will sit down and meditate for five minutes. By doing this every day, you will start to associate the act of brushing your teeth with the act of meditating, and it will become easier to remember to do both habits. Another example of habit stacking is linking exercise to watching TV. If you enjoy watching TV in the evening, you could decide that every time you watch TV, you will also do some exercise. This could be as simple as doing some stretches or using a resistance band while you watch your favorite show. By doing this every day, you will start to associate the act of watching TV with the act of exercising, and it will become easier to maintain this new habit. Habit stacking is a powerful tool that can help you adopt new habits and make them stick. By linking a new habit to an existing one, you can make it easier to remember to do the new habit, and you can reinforce the new habit by associating it with an existing one. So if you want to adopt a new habit, try habit stacking and see how it can help you achieve your goals. Lesson 6. The importance of tracking progress. Tracking our progress can help us stay motivated and make adjustments to our habits as needed. Tracking your progress is an essential part of achieving your goals. It helps you to stay motivated and make adjustments to your habits as needed. When you track your progress, you can see how far you have come and how much further you need to go. This can be a great source of motivation, especially when you are feeling discouraged or overwhelmed. For example, if your goal is to lose weight, 
Tracking your progress can help you to see how much weight you have lost and how much more you need to lose. This can be a great source of motivation, especially when you are feeling discouraged or overwhelmed. You can also use tracking to identify patterns in your behavior that may be hindering your progress. For example, if you notice that you tend to eat more when you are stressed, you can make adjustments to your habits to avoid this behavior. Tracking your progress can also help you to make adjustments to your habits as needed. For example, if you notice that you are not making progress towards your goal, you can adjust your habits to make them more effective. This might involve changing your diet, increasing your exercise routine, or finding new ways to manage stress. In conclusion, tracking your progress is an essential part of achieving your goals. It helps you to stay motivated and make adjustments to your habits as needed. By tracking your progress, you can see how far you have come and how much further you need to go. This can be a great source of motivation, especially when you are feeling discouraged or overwhelmed. So, make sure to track your progress regularly and use it to make adjustments to your habits as needed. Lesson 7. The role of temptation bundling. Temptation bundling involves pairing a habit we want to adopt with a habit we enjoy, making it easier to stick to the new habit. Temptation bundling is a powerful technique that can help you adopt new habits more easily. The idea is to pair a habit you want to adopt with a habit you already enjoy. By doing this, you can make it easier to stick to the new habit because you are also getting a reward for doing something you already like. For example, let's say you want to start exercising more regularly, but you also love watching your favorite TV show. You could use temptation bundling by only allowing yourself to watch your show while you are exercising. This way, you are getting the reward of watching your show while also building the habit of exercising. Another example could be if you want to start reading more books, but you also love going to your favorite coffee shop. You could use temptation bundling by only allowing yourself to go to the coffee shop when you bring a book to read. This way, you are getting the reward of going to the coffee shop while also building the habit of reading. By using temptation bundling, you can make it easier to stick to new habits because you are pairing them with something you already enjoy. This can help you stay motivated and make the habit feel less like a chore. So, think about what habits you want to adopt and what activities you already enjoy. Then, try pairing them together using temptation bundling to make it easier to stick to your new habits. Lesson 8. The importance of focusing on systems, not goals. Claire argues that focusing on systems, the processes that lead to our desired outcomes, is more effective than focusing solely on goals. When it comes to achieving your desired outcomes, it's easy to get caught up in setting goals. However, simply setting a goal isn't enough to guarantee success. Instead, it's important to focus on the systems that will help you achieve that goal. A system is a set of processes or habits that you put in place to help you achieve your desired outcome. For example, if your goal is to lose weight, your system might include things like meal planning, regular exercise, and tracking your progress. Focusing on systems rather than goals is more effective because it helps you create sustainable habits that will lead to long-term success. When you focus solely on a goal, you may be more likely to take shortcuts or make sacrifices that aren't sustainable in the long run. For example, if your goal is to run a marathon, you might be tempted to push yourself too hard in training, leading to injury or burnout. However, if you focus on building a sustainable training system that gradually increases your mileage and incorporates rest days, you'll be more likely to reach your goal without sacrificing your health. By focusing on systems, you're also able to make progress even if you don't achieve your goal right away. For example, if your goal is to write a book, you might not be able to finish it in a set amount of time. However, if you focus on building a daily writing habit, you'll still be making progress towards your goal even if you don't finish the book as quickly as you'd like. In summary, focusing on systems rather than goals is a more effective way to achieve your desired outcomes. By building sustainable habits and processes, you'll be more likely to achieve long-term success and make progress even if you don't achieve your goal right away. Lesson 9. The role of social support. Having social support can make it easier to adopt and maintain new habits. Having social support is crucial when it comes to adopting and maintaining new habits. 
It is easier to stick to a new habit when you have people around you who are also trying to make positive changes in their lives. Social support can come in many forms, such as family, friends, co-workers, or even online communities. For example, if you are trying to quit smoking, having a friend who is also trying to quit can be incredibly helpful. You can support each other, share tips and strategies, and hold each other accountable. On the other hand, if you are surrounded by people who smoke and encourage you to smoke, it will be much harder to quit. Similarly, if you are trying to eat healthier, having a partner who is also committed to healthy eating can make it easier to stick to your goals. You can cook healthy meals together, share recipes, and motivate each other to make healthy choices. Social support can also be found in online communities. For example, if you are trying to start a new exercise routine, joining an online fitness group can provide you with support and motivation. You can share your progress, ask for advice, and connect with others who are also trying to improve their fitness. In summary, having social support can make it easier to adopt and maintain new habits. Surrounding yourself with people who share your goals and values can provide you with the support, motivation, and accountability you need to succeed. Lesson 10. The power of belief. Our beliefs about ourselves and our abilities can either help or hinder our ability to adopt new habits. By changing our beliefs, we can change our habits. Beliefs are powerful. They can either help or hinder our ability to adopt new habits. If you believe that you are capable of achieving a certain goal, you are more likely to take action towards it. On the other hand, if you believe that you are not capable of achieving that goal, you are less likely to take action towards it. For example, if you believe that you are not a morning person and that you cannot wake up early to exercise, you are less likely to try to wake up early and exercise. However, if you change your belief and start to believe that you can wake up early and exercise, you are more likely to take action towards it. Changing your beliefs can be challenging, but it is possible. You can start by identifying your limiting beliefs and challenging them. Ask yourself if they are really true or if they are just holding you back. You can also surround yourself with people who have similar beliefs and habits that you want to adopt. This can help you to reinforce your new beliefs and habits. In conclusion, our beliefs about ourselves and our abilities can either help or hinder our ability to adopt new habits. By changing our beliefs, we can change our habits. It is important to identify our limiting beliefs and challenge them in order to adopt new habits that will help us achieve our goals. Thank you for watching Summary Secrets, your daily personal growth companion. If you found these lessons insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more condensed wisdom. Stay tuned daily for more.